one of the things I would do with that piece, um, which Victoria Bissell Brown, another historian, um, does so well herself, is to recognize that there's a subtle difference in Jane Addams' argument between saying that women are naturally um, and essentially and biologically more moral or more pure or more uh, concerned about health of others or more civic-minded, she kind of avoids saying whether she thinks that or not. Experiences that build those skills and build those characteristics. So that's a subtlety that um, would be interesting to talk to students about. 2010 and beyond, I'm sure, um, struggle with how much they think women's nature or stereotypes about women or, or any other group are natural and are rooted in biology and something that feminist historians have long addressed. So Jane Addams' uh, essay allows you to do a lot of good work around not only the particular Im issue of suffrage, but the underlying ideological issues about gender that should be raised when we talk about suffrage because it's not just there was a movement and here's what happened, but what are the issues at that time that continue to raise themselves in our own time. And they are reinforcing some conventional ideas that feminist historians since the 1970s have not always felt comfortable with, um, you know, wanting them to have been more radical or wanting them to have been less compromised by race or class issues. Um, but as historians, what we're really interested in is the complexity, is the messiness of it. And I think bringing students to an appreciation of that is not only important, but it's what makes it interesting for them, too. If I find students think one of two things. History is so easy, it's not worth studying. It's not hard like math. Or history is boring because it's a chronicle of events. And I'm also bored by a chronicle of events. So allowing them to see that there's an analytical uh, set of issues that have to be explored um, triggers their curiosity and allows them to really stretch intellectually. Um, so I think that it's important, even at a young age, to bring that complexity in. Um, otherwise, we are going to bore them and not convey why this is so important. So I would, I have taught high school myself, and I taught it at a very high level and found that students were more interested than they were when I tried to keep it at a low level in order to make sure I wasn't moving too fast or using too many big words.